Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. So we are here at the edge of the unexplored territory on uh, Frostbite Island. We'll see if I can manage to not die immediately to these wolves. That would be great. Hmm. Is it worth trying to sprint into this little, or well, every single one possibly of these little indentations? Try to bump into the walls? Maybe not right away. Maybe when we end up when and if we end up missing anything. Huh, this is otherwise a pretty empty space, huh? Empty place. Okay. I mean, we are supposed to reach that floating propeller island. So I'm guessing. Oh, uh, well, okay, that's... wow. <clears throat> I might not have tried pressing the jump button to recover from that hit. That might have worked even in midair, and I might have saved myself. But still, I think this is quite mean. At least there are some platforms in between to potentially stop your fall. Okay, also we're already at the top. Yep, seems like it. Could you please? Oh, okay. Propeller jump. Oh, hey there. That's convenient. Yes. Although I dread having to ever go back to this place. I mean, you can quickly tra fast travel back to the ship, but... Unless there is some kind of special mechanism here, like the... The cart in uh, Spiderweb Island. Oh, okay. Can you even do this? Um... That seems like a very tight jump. Maybe, I mean, you can obviously go around this way. Are you attacking? Hmm, I don't know. <clears throat> not anymore, that's for sure. Okay. So we're not in the actual dungeon yet, unless this counts as the dungeon? Oh, I interesting. Okay. Not the fastest reaction time there, also... Wasn't ready for that thing to actually go back up again. Well, I kind of committed to this path, huh? Hmm. Oh. Okay. Um, that was a fail. a lot of hits, but I don't know, they seem otherwise pretty passive. Alright, skip all that. Oh wait, these blocks aren't exactly slippery, but they make it very hard to start walking. Ugh. So to build up momentum, interesting. <clears throat> oh god, uh, <laughs> geez, my reaction times are not what they used to be, although were they ever better, really? I don't know. Hmm. Side path? Safe point? How would I know if this is actually the dungeon of the place? I guess as soon as I find a map, I would know. Wait, hold on. Is there anything here, actually? Or is that just a safe point off the side? Huh, okay. <laughs> actually, that seems to be it. Okay. Something's dripping. Hmm. So those are ice blocks? Hmm. Maybe we get some sort of fire ability? Although there is no obvious reason to melt those. But, uh, I don't know. Whoa! Uh. Okay. Those are one shots. Oh god. Um, they're also kind of creepy. <clears throat> Just stand there at a safe distance and. You're gonna be fine, and I guess I'm gonna have to take a running start here. Uh, and not do that same thing again with my thick finger. Oh, okay, thanks for the, for the catch, air current. Alright, that worked. 
Thank goodness for quick whipping. And we continue. All right. Get out of here. Okay. Hmm. Well, you probably don't want to fall quite yet. So I have a feeling like it might be hard to get back up again. Okay. Oh, uh, those are instant death. Which is fine, because instant death is only one damage. As opposed to a wolf touching me gently for six damage. Just saying. Right. Uh, would you please? Would you please go up? I see the current. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> Just don't just float there awkwardly. <clears throat> With the spikes right beneath you. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I'm climbing up. Going back down should be easier overall. supposed to use them as a as a as a staircase to bounce. No way, right? That couldn't work because they start moving immediately. Also, <laughs> that happened. Uh, was I at the bottom of this? No. Um, you can't possibly be asking this of me. Especially because, uh, okay, I cannot actually. I could not actually stop my. Uh, my bounce there. Oh, okay. Weird. I mean, I swear I was no longer holding the bounce button, but I I was pressing the uh, the glide button multiple times there, and nothing happened. <clears throat> oh god, the controls are so bad. Yeah, and there I was locked into. Hmm. I guess once he started. Once you started a downward bounce, you can um, you cannot cancel that until you hit something. Wow, that makes that even tighter to control than I thought. Yeah. Okay. So instead of starting a new bounce at the height of your your up bounce, basically you can. Yeah. <laughs> but now I'm locked into it. Okay. So I really, really no way, right? That couldn't possibly be asked of me. I mean, I can just check out what's down here. Down here? Yes. Oh, hey, Bolo. That's unexpected. You're working for the Techno Baron? Sure, why not? I've got glasses. That's a good enough reason, I guess. He said I looked super smart, so he made me his assistant. Someone finally appreciates me. I feel like I'm on top of the world. I mean, you are pretty high up, but... Well, yeah, we're a thousand feet in the air. Look, I don't want to mess up on my first day. I just put the final touches on this doohickey. It's supposed to go to the Ammo Baron back in Scuttletown. Techno Baron says it's super important. What's it do? I don't know. So what? You're my friend. You always have been. I can count on you, right? Um, <laughs> just say yes. Here, take it. You got the targeting module. Big surprise. Huh. You'll take the device to the Ammo Baron in Scuttletown, right? Sure. I mean, I have absolutely no reason to, but... Oh. I don't know. Should I keep trying to reach that room up there? I don't really see what else could be used there. It could be used to reach that. <laughs> but I also honestly can't quite see how to do it. Um... First of all, they can't trigger early. Okay, so, I mean, ah, uh, God, this is... Yeah, okay, now they're moving. They'll reset when, when I go down like this, right? Um, I thought they did earlier. Maybe they they actually need to all still be up there. Oh, okay, then I failed to grab the chain. That'll happen, I suppose.
Oh god, I mean... <laughs> okay. At least I didn't fall to my death. That's something, I suppose. How much longer should I try this? this is, ugh. I mean, again, I don't really see any other way, or rather this seems so like such an obvious solution. Just so hard to pull off. Maybe I'm just making it hard in my head and... Okay, there I didn't even get the necessary height. Hmm. So I need the initial momentum. Yeah, no, that's, that's just not working. Okay. Also, I keep forgetting that I can actually specifically hit the jump button to cancel that kind of uh, knockback. If I could rely re remember that, that's definitely, that definitely would be useful. <sighs> no, I, I don't know. I just don't know how that could possibly work. I don't have the fine control. Even if I get the first bounce, I need to get perfectly on top of the second bat before I can... <sighs> or, <sighs> technically, I suppose I could start gliding after the first bounce, then bounce on the next bat, gain a little bit of height, and so on and so forth. And not chain the bounces directly together. But they all start moving as I as soon as I get back close, so and it's all becoming such a mess. Um I mean something like that, I guess. I don't know if I even need all the bounces? All four? Probably not. Ah, then I mm, Okay. I feel like that's more promising than what I was trying before. Oh, so so close. Obviously, I can't get hit. Can you please collect that? Thank you, meat chunklet. Kind of need some healing, perhaps. Well, not immediately. I'm at most going to take one damage at a time here, so not in any particular danger quite yet. <clears throat> Yeah, okay. Uh, why do I keep not remembering that I can that I can cancel that? I don't know. I don't know. I mean I'm trying to press in all kinds of directions, just not the jump button. Um, and there I guess I accidentally held the bounce button just a little bit too long, starting the next bounce. I, I just don't have the hand eye coordination for this, I'm afraid. Oh, oh god, so close! And then I... Hmm... Then I didn't cancel it quickly enough. I think I could have gotten it there. No! <laughs> okay, okay. That's, it seems absolutely possible. Now. <laughs> Although, I've, of course, I'll still have to make it to the platform. Um, well, I hope <laughs> you're not tired of this yet. You probably are. But, surely, it can't take much longer. Surely it can't take much longer, I said. Come on. Just tap the button lightly. I don't know. I guess my finger cramps up from all the tension. And I hold it just a little bit too long, stopping the, the next bounce. <gasps> I did it! I didn't do it! I didn't do it! That's so cruel! Don't rob me! Don't rob me of that! Oh, that's exactly what I was afraid of, because I was obviously moving away from the, from the ledge I was trying to reach. to get into the rhythm of really just lightly tapping and immediately letting go. <laughs> well, that was a little bit disappointing. Ugh. Yeah, nope. Come on. Stop yourself. So close. Off by a few pixels, that's... that's... 
That's tough, that hurts. <clears throat> come on, come on! Seriously, what do you want of me? Should I ignore the final one, the fourth one? And just go straight for the ledge? Like, you really don't gain a lot of height. Well, especially not if you do that. Hmm. I know, I'm... Okay, you know what? Actually... We've seen... I, you know, I've, I've had basically the what I assume is the correct sequence on camera, unless there is something something else I'm, I'm doing wrong. Um, I'm gonna keep trying until I get it. Um, but I'm gonna pause recording just because who knows how much longer it's gonna take. And if nothing else, maybe stopping the recording is gonna cause me to do it immediately, which would be ideal. Um, so uh, we'll see. Wish me luck. <sighs> okay, you know what? I give up for now. I have made it... <laughs> maybe I've made the fourth jump maybe two more times in almost 15 minutes, and it's it wasn't even close, so I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to quite line up. Um, I don't know if I'm just doing it right, uh, not doing it right, rather, or if I'm still missing something. I mean, if there is something like a like a better jump, a uh, double jump even, that of course would trivialize this whole thing, at least potentially. I guess it depends, but I suppose I'm gonna wait. It just seems so so close, and it seems to be set up perfectly for exactly that. But I don't know, maybe maybe it isn't. <laughs> maybe I just was trying to do something that wasn't possible. Hmm, okay, there's obviously something more going on up here. Huh. Okay, well, if I needed any more confirmation, I suppose, that I just don't have all the tools yet. Hmm. I mean, if nothing else, I have the thing that I was supposed to get for the evil guy. Still don't quite understand why I'm just doing that. Um, okay. Good to know. I guess I'll just fall on this side then. Thanks, game. I don't know, I probably could have reacted faster, but again, reaction time is just not happening today. Oh, okay, I never went here. Oh. Um, those things are gonna spit me somewhere. Right? Like straight up, okay. Oh boy. Um, I don't know. Down, maybe? Nope. Uh, down, maybe? <laughs> mm, that puts me back here. Alright. Interesting. Wait. Okay. I think that's the same one that I took the first time. Okay, at the edge of the screen there. Then that puts me back immediately. Uh, let's try the first one, I guess. Okay, that gets me straight to this one. I saw a chest there. Problem is... Hmm. Absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get there. Yeah, that just resets me. Hmm. Okay. No, that's not a chest. That's a, it's a squid. So where would I? Hmm. Presumably, maybe that mouth uh, above the platform will shoot me straight down to it. This is gonna reset me, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. Biggest problem is that all of these look the same, so I... I mean, obviously, I've been to this one before, but how many of those are even there? Um, yeah, that's gonna shoot me back, of course. 
and that should be back over here. So this is a cycle. <sighs> okay. I don't know if I've been to the one to the top right from here. That's a reset, okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> okay, let's try this one again. I don't know, it's, it's completely random. I could probably try to to explore these more systematically. Well, I've definitely been to this one just now. Okay. So we know right resets up, obviously, it just gets me back to where I started. Down sends me back up. This sends me over here. I think this one sends me back down. No, it doesn't. Okay, this sends me in the circle again. What about this? Okay, that sends me back. Uh, right sends me in the circle again. Up resets me. What's, what about down? Um, reset? No, that sends me back to this one. Right. Which means that down is a reset. Right is a reset. Well, d I mean, down just sends me back here. Up sends me back here. To the right is a complete reset. To the left sends me into this one. Oh, God. <laughs> um... Down from here is a reset. Okay, I, I feel like I've tried most options at this point. Uh, clearly, there is one path that leads to success. Just straight down. No, I, I've definitely tried that before. That just sends you back home. No, or does it? No, it sends you back here. So, have I been to the to the green one? To the other green one there? I don't remember. I know, obviously, I cannot stop. I cannot stop my movements at all. Yeah, I don't know. This is uh, starting to melt my brain even more. I'm literally trapped in, a, in an endless circle here. Seriously, what options have I not tried? There are only three of these. They sent me to the same set of, of green mouths, and there are only so many options. Okay, once again, let me, let me just pause recording and see if my brain starts working. Okay, apparently what I hadn't tried was the middle one the, the middle starting mouth and then uh, pressing down because that sends me to an otherwise unreachable green one that I hadn't experimented mit, uh, with as much as I thought apparently and that eventually sent me here uh, I'm gonna go with left <gasps> yes because I thought this might line up with the with the one okay good so basically that's all I need here, here right presumably although I haven't tried all the other options from from that one also, just because I want to fill in the map. Maybe that was <laughs> enough to paint it in. Yep, okay. I mean, I'm assuming that's it. Let's just quickly redo that. Yeah, that sounds good to this one. And I guess down is kind of counterintuitive because we're you're already pretty close to the bottom there. So... Down is where you come from. I haven't tried the run, the one to the right there, so let's see where that sends you. Probably just back home or back to this one, and that's yeah, okay. And this resets you. Okay, man, finally, <laughs> that was. I mean, I knew that it was obviously just one of the options, one of the many combinations, and well, there it was. Okay, Jesus. Also, I never looked at the actual thing that we picked up module, a delivery for the ammo baron. Should you really give it to him? No, absolutely not. But I very much doubt that the game is going to give me any other options, so... I guess that's what I'm going to do. Uh, can I actually use one of these? Yes. Flare activated. Flare activated. Hi. Uh, yes? I mean, I'm clearly not done here. But, wow. Seriously? 
five more squids. I haven't even seen another one. So maybe Propeller Town is not the dungeon. Maybe there is something else too. Huh. We have found two out of three cackle bats. Hmm. I wonder if that extra jump challenge, if it's supposed to be a jump challenge and if it's not just trivial with a later upgrade, leads to that cackle bat? I mean, I don't know. It could, I suppose, but also could lead to something else entirely. Um, well, okay, let's let's just return to Scuttletown, I suppose, and hand the targeting module to the bad guy who wants to just blow everything up. That seems like a smart thing to do. The targeting module. Can I have it? Uh, sure, yoink. Ha, I'll grab it faster next time. Do it again. <laughs> uh, I mean, I really shouldn't, but... There. The targeting module has arrived. This is awesome. Pow! Good work, citizen. You gave module, idiot. Okay, that's it, huh? Still need that good-for-nothing Barracuda Joe. Where is he? Oh no! I heard he w there were zombies on Spiderweb Island. Maybe they ate him. I should send someone over there. Hmm. Yeah, okay, okay, I get it. So I'm supposed to go there and talk to the zombies? Isn't this Barracuda Joe? Right. I mean, actually, I have seen Bolo, but it seems busy. <sighs> okay. Should probably go ahead and heal while I'm here. <laughs> and seriously, the petrified boyfriend or fiancé uh, was called Joe, wasn't he? I don't know. Maybe it's a different guy. Uh, let's... Go to Spiderweb Island, I suppose. Might as well. At least with the uh, fast travel system here, it's relatively easy to go back to Rotti and friends. Brothers, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Yes. Hey guys. Look who's back. So what's this I hear about you and Risky Boots? What? Uh-huh. You're all high and mighty when it comes to us. Well, I suppose you can team up with her and all's fine and dandy. You've got the wrong idea. I'm just trying to help everyone I care about. Fancy that. So what brings you all the way out here anyway? Oh, um, I found a place. The Village of Lost Souls. That's true. So I'm not here because the Ammo Baron is looking for, for Joe and mentioned this place? Oh, okay. You don't need to say nothing more. I know all about it. About what? My night job. Something I'm working on. None of your biz, sis. Aww. Anyway, I found this there. Oh, the lost soul. I completely forgot that I had that. And I definitely didn't expect to just hand it to them. I mean, I don't know what else I would have done with it. How cute! It's a wandering soul! It must have been separated from its body and can't find its way home. Whose soul is it? Only one way to find out. Put it in a body, or...? You just need to trigger the right memories. Huh. Maybe this fellow committed some foul deed in life, something he'd never forget. Or true love, something he or she will remember for all of, for all of time. Or something embarrassing, like maybe he did diaper commercials as a child. Hmm, is that really that embarrassing? And he still wears them because he misses being in the spotlight. Okay, uh, that's... Hmm. Okay voice. You're wrong. Huh? Who said that? Comfort and convenience ain't no crime. <laughs> Whoa, it's Barracuda Joe. Oh, it's a joke. It's it's actually the, the, the soul of the guy who got petrified. That's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? See, that wasn't so hard. Here, take his spirit back to him. He'll be up and about in no time. But, I mean, his body is still turned to stone, so... Oh, well, assuming you kept the body. Sure, yeah, but, um... Uh, 
If not, I've got a few spares lying around. Spirit of Joe. Comfort and convenience. Okay. Sure. Wow, I can't believe it. It's not a big deal. Listen, Roddy. I met someone in the village of Lost Souls. She explained some things to me and... Well... I just want you want to know that what I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be your friend. Really? Yeah, even if you keep trying to eat my brain and betray me and actually forget that. <laughs> really? <laughs> Through thick and thin, no matter what. Big brother? <laughs> Think she means it, sis. Don't mess it up this time. Can we have her for dinner? That's the kind of garbage I'm talking about. Ah, you guys. Oh, a death mask. Hey, I could use this. I'm trying to use this pirate flare. Oh, uh, I, I suppose I don't need the death mask anymore. Thanks for asking. Hmm. Good luck returning that soul. Oh, thanks for for helping me. Right. Okay. Well. I guess I could use the flare here, but I mean, really not necessary. All right, let's save Joe, I guess, who will magically be unpetrified somehow. And then finally, the Ammo Baron will be able to complete his plans and I don't know, blow everything up. That seems awesome. Town. Hey, Sky. Good news, I guess. <laughs> Whisper softly to Barracuda Joe's soul. Awaken sweet baby sunshine. Uh, is that the magic formula? Shantae, get away from him! What? Leave him! He's an eternal testament to my status as a bachelorette. No way! I won't let you waste your life standing there like that old man I destroyed. Huh? <laughs> I give you Barracuda Joe. Huh. What do you know? It worked. Hmm. Barracuda Joe's alive. Huh? This is absolutely incredible. I... How did you accomplish this? That's a very good question. Shante, you're the most amazing friend ever. I'll never question your judgment again. Um... <laughs> maybe you shouldn't be so quick about that. Ahem. <clears throat> Joe's had time to think, and uh, a lot of fish in the sea, and all that. Well, back to work. Uh, bye? You're welcome? What? Come back and marry me, you scumbag! I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go too. See ya, Sky. <laughs> Men are idiots. At least I still have wrench. Caca! Well... Okay, now what? Kapal, we're all set. Thanks, girly. Uh, sure. Glad you finally decided to join the winning team. Uh, yeah, why did I do that again? Look, I even drew my own fan art of how your ammo, of how your ammo town uniform would look. That's small. <laughs> pew pew, but first I've got other business to take care of. Let's run down the checklist. Power at maximum? Aye, sir. Firing station? Finger on the trigger. And you're sure that targeting module is installed properly? She's up to code. It ain't got it ain't not gonna miss. Ain't not gonna miss, huh? Okay. Meaning it's going to hit the target, right? <laughs> Just making sure. Absolutely. She's locked on the palace, sir. Wait, stop! You can't do this. Chante, what did he think they would do? There are people in that palace. You gonna defend those mopey old bureaucratic busybodies? If any survive, I'll give them new jobs right here at the new sequin led HQ. Ha 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 ha. No! Fire on my mark. Three, two, one. Firing pl Palace Disruptor Cannon. It ain't not gonna miss. Ah, fresh cool air. The smell of victory fills my nostrils. When the Ammo Baron destroys sequin led Palace, I will become incredibly wealthy. Even beyond my wildest dreams. I will create weapons even more terrible than before. Soon the real power in Sequinland will be me. 
Me, the Techno Baron. Arr, ha, 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 That is one chubby green bird. <laughs> what? That wasn't even green. Uh, oh? Uh, entrance to the dungeon opened? To the Den of Evil? That's convenient. Report! Shot fired successfully, sir. Just target missed. <laughs> but, you know. Yeah, but the incorrect target was destroyed. <laughs> Instead of the palace, it was just a random bit of ground on a completely different island. What? We fired over Sequinland, over Sequinland Palace and blew a hole right through Frostbite Island. Who is responsible for this nightmare? Targeting modules hooked up right as rain. Then how? Problem's right here. That right there is the main circuit panel. She's installed backwards. And upside down. Hmm, like a certain lock, huh? And inside out. Hmm. Must have been whoever engineered the thing. Oh my gosh, Bolo saved the day! His incompetence once again saved everyone. No, oh, did it save every anyone before? I don't know. It saved people this time around, so that's good. How long till we can fire again? Gonna need to get a new module. Blast! Somebody find the Techno Baron. I'm not telling him. Maybe it's time I checked out that hole that we magically know about. Okay, uh, that worked out <laughs> for the best, somehow, as it typically does. Um, can we afford anything in the shop before I call an episode? Probably not. I mean, we're actually out of permanent upgrades, aren't we? Shantae, what's with the... What's with the sighing when you're in the shop? This makes no sense. Okay, so we're all out of these. <sighs> Jesus. I could buy some potions, I guess. I don't know if I ever used a potion. Maybe some auto potions? Oh, I'm so... <sighs> so close to being able to, to do it. Hmm. I don't even know how much a potion heals. Uh... Some auto potions definitely would be useful. They would have definitely helped in the past, that's for sure. Um, maybe I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, farm for gems and buy um, a three pack of them. Uh, but yeah, for the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye bye.